In today's post, I wanted to spend a little time talking about page layouts. One of the most interesting part of SharePoint 2010, especially not as much in 2007, but in 2010, that you can actually use from uh, very much take advantage of from a usability standpoint is page layouts. And page layouts, one of the things is they do actually require you use publishing services for them, but overall they actually provide a lot of power. Now I'm going to step back for a second and say this doesn't mean that you have to use publishing services or page layouts, but overall they add some elements to the process that can make uh, what I'm about going to talk about very much easier. And really from this standpoint the whole thing is about consistency. Consistency. Now, you might look at this page that's kind of sitting in front of us and go, well, that doesn't look very good, and, you know, there isn't a lot of thought behind that. And I'm going to say I disagree, because the reality is not everybody has to be great designers. Not everything has to have a lot of color into it. Color is important, but also consistency is important. If I'm going to look at an article on the site, if I'm going to look at a wiki page, if I'm going to look at a blog post, if I'm going to look at a document, if I'm going to look at those kind of things, one of the things that we really strive for that makes people really appreciate be able to use this system better and have more consistent experiences having consistent layout. So in this particular case, you know, we were able to use a page layout to be able to kind of create this thing for the sample article that we might have and how you might rate it, comment it, where the comments might uh, sit in that kind of stuff. So what's really important to take away from this is not really the layout itself, but more so that if we were to go to another article or another article or another article that kind of fits in this whole series, that it has a real consistency. So one of the things that we really do see a lot um, around there is that people tend to uh, take a lot of freedom with pages that are uh, part of similar processes, uh, similar information in that, and it really creates an inconsistent experience. So what we can really do is by using consistent page layouts, give our users a, a predictable experience when they actually go to something and know that it's going to look this particular way. They're going to find this particular piece of information or part of the page in the same location all the time.